Hello, everybody. It is me. This is the YNR Mini Spotlight here on JLJ Media. The ladies will join me as soon as they get in. Um, but I'm on, a, I'm on a tight schedule today. And it's St. Patrick's Day. I have my mug. I have my sprinkles cupcake. I'm ready to eat it yet. It's too, too sweet. Um, but I am ready to get started, you guys. We got lots to talk about. Um, this is the last show. For the next month, because I have other things coming up that won't be able to be here. So thought let me get started, at least get in, get started, let folks come in. So like, we'll give time for folks to join us, give time for ladies to join us. Um just for the you know, someone, someone type in everything. This is for the young and the restless week ending March 15th. 24, so we will know what this is. So I put in the title, Phyllis, Nick, Audra, and Sally. Very interesting stuff, right? Uh, I have some good thumbnails for each of the shows today. Um, to season eight, Tammy is coming in. So Tammy is coming in, and then Amanda will join us at some point. Um, just get everything set up. We gave my a chance to come in this morning. Uh, where's my thumbnail? I have a really good thumbnail. There's Amanda. I mean, there's Amanda. There's Tammy Govea. Excuse um, me. Hello. That is not Amanda Russ. That is Tammy Govea coming in. I just, <laughs> I just came on. we just we I'm setting everything up. Um, I titled this Phyllis, Nick, Audra, and Sally. We had some interesting combinations this week. We certainly did. We did, and Amanda said she's dealing with some. Weather issue, but she says trying to come in, which we all been there for. But we all we've all been there. <laughs> all of us have been there. But it's St. Patrick's Day, and I'm wearing my green. I my 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 green. I have my sprinkles cupcake green. Ah, uh, I don't have any green. I have my eyes. Green green eyes are my favorite, Tammy. <laughs> are they really? Of all, of all the eyes, and my son-in-law has green eyes, but none of my kids got them. I was so sad. I got I my mom's green them. eyes. Green eyes are my favorite of all time. <laughs> yeah. So if I if I if I said blue eyes, like no, I like green, I like green, green slash hazel, but green are actually I rare. Say, I think when I was younger, they were more hazel because they were more brownish green, and now they're just more green. That's rare, Tammy. That's actually very rare. Well, eyes. I'm rare. So you're ethereal. Sometimes I'm medium rare. I don't <laughs> medium, but I'm but. I'm well done, kids. All right, everybody, so come on in. The, the chat is fine. Come on in. I see Kenneth Clark. I see George Blackman. Are you guys hung over from last night? Were you partying too much? Actually, too many Irish car bombs? What's going on, folks? Where is everybody? Uh, come in here. I did not drink last No, I did drink last night, but I didn't drink, drink. I went to Boston Nova, uh, Tam. I don't know if you've ever been to one of their locations. I have not. Well, well, that, been, there's one in West Hollywood, right? Yeah, you've never been to you've never been, you've never been to Boston Nova. Was it wow. or to Pump or Sir or like one of them? Well, because well, there's um, so there's well, there's more locations than I thought. There's like four now. Oh wow! There's one. There's the one on Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood. The one in West Hollywood. That's then the one. One on Pico, which is like further down the west side. Then there's a newer one, folks, in Hawthorne. So we went oh, to that one. So wait, is that Cuban? Um, well, it's like Brazilian slash Portuguese slash Cuban slash okay. like it's slash 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 yeah. slash slash. I remember Ernie and I walked by it and thought, wow, you know, it'd be cool to check this place out. So how was it? Oh, I mean, we love the other locations. This one, the location is closer to us because we live in the South Bay area. However, comma, as Tony Moore would say, who's in the chat, love you, Tony, <laughs> the chat. Um, however, comma, uh, it was the service was lackluster. Ugh. Well, unfortunately, that seems to be more the norm nowadays than not. So, but that's sad. How how is the food? Oh, the bomb! Oh my god, the bomb! Mm -hmm. bomb, 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 bomb. I had oxtail mean? risotto. Is the bomb? Well, what kind? Oxtail risotto. Shut up. Mm. I love oxtail. I haven't had my mouth is watering. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't had that in years. My mom used to make that. It was her chicken and dumplings, and she'd make her oxtail stew. Oh my god! I remember I have chicken and dumplings for you next time I see. You. I remember I have oh, some for yes, you. Yes, yes. Those both those things are my growing up too. So I get it. Oh, let me do my do my church announcements because I get to do my church announcements. So this is why. <laughs> 
this is why I don't have any spotlight. I'm like, I'm crazy over here. Um, my life. Right after this, we're doing Bold and the Beautiful Mini Spotlight. We have lots of up there, too. <laughs> um, and then oh, we have lots to talk about on the GH Mini Spotlight. Yeah. It's the first week of the, it's, it's the second week of the integrated writing. And the first day, Friday was the first day of the all the new writing. And let me tell you, the fans are divided. I'm loving it. It's a whole story. Me and Frank Moran and his emails will be joining you. <laughs> after that. And then Laundry Tony's in here. Um, now, no, they're back also. And they have our friend Eric Martsoff on today. Aww. So Eric Martsoff, go check that out. Um, that's at 3 o'clock on their channel, Dish and Days. And of course, Laundry Tony will say something about my age, of course, as he always does. <laughs> Well, there's uh, a lot to say about a it. lot to <laughs> say, um, and uh, this is and this is our last show for about a month because you know I'm going to surgery and other things happening coming up. So we're gonna give you we're gonna give you some good stuff today. I'm on a tight schedule today, but Amanda will be joining us later. You missed it. She is having some problems with her uh, internet and stuff because of weather. Mississippi man, whoever is out there right now, sending you electricity and warmth and dryness because it's it's a little cray cray over there. Yes, uh, it's, it's, it is it's crazy. Uh, so we will talk about that. Uh, but it is Shady Sunday, Sub Sundays, all those things. We are here to talk about that for you. Um, and uh, I also say, hey, it's Saturday, 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 Saturday. Um, from, <laughs> You're so funny, Tony. Um, so, folks, this was a week that was, I, I don't even know where to begin, Ted, because there's so many different things I do want to talk about. But I guess I'll talk about, I know the big thing that happened throughout the week, that's I'll save that for a little bit. I want to get to some of the little things. Okay, let's get to so the you little things. You and I especially. The little things matter. They do. And you and I are very good about that kind of stuff. Um, Tony and Tony writes, it's not my fault you were there when, blue, when Ben flew the kite. <laughs> wow. I think he takes, like, at night, he's got his little light on in a journal, and he comes up with, Oh my God, that's brilliant. I bet you were there when Ben flew the kite. Right. <laughs> he waits for these moments to inject them. Uh, he does. It's great. Um, I want to start with you guys, Phyllis and Nick. Yeah. Did not see that coming. However, comma, as Tony would say, I'm glad the way it turned out. And it's so cute. Ernie was watching the shows with me and you know, he doesn't know a lot about the history. And so when they went back to her room and she goes to change, Ernie says to me, I hope he doesn't take advantage of the situation. And I said, no, 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 you know, they've been married. They have a child. Nick would never do anything to hurt her. And he said, okay. He goes, but that's not actually what I was talking about. I hope she, Phyllis, doesn't do something because she's Phyllis. Yes. I just hope she doesn't do something that's really going to mess up this whole situation. Like, okay, well, you got a point there. Because she I tried. He, she tried. But see, I don't think he could. But see, Nick and Phyllis have their own kind of relationship, folks. You guys know this. Um, it was, I'm, glad he, I'm glad he did nothing also. And Michelle was hilarious. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she was oh, like, no. the whole thing is, she's hilarious the whole time. That, that bar scene. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am sorry when when she took off those lashes. I was like, I, I've never seen that on television before. No, Michelle Stafford unclicked some hair. She unclicked some. She was she was like talking and she was like doing this. I go, it's gonna unclick some hair. Oh. She, took some she took an extension out. Oh. And bar. But there were three things. It was so the, it was the two out of two the lashes. Eyelashes. The hair click and she took oh, off. Um, there was another thing. Folks in the chat, there was one more thing. I'm thinking out what it is, too. It was a one thing and she put it on the. Oh, it was a one earring. One earring. Oh, it was the earring. Okay. Okay. It was one earring. I, whoever thought of that, Michelle, I don't know if that was your just in the moment concept, yeah. but whoever thought, kudos, because I was crying. I was laughing. I was oh, like so hard. And the thing is, when she was talking, I'm like, because I agree with uh, Luther, I agree with you in the chat. I mean, they need to reboot Phyllis. 
They need to reboot her a little bit. And but Michelle spins shit into gold. I mean, she does she does what she can. She does. Michelle to get it, give her stuff. And Michelle Stafford, my girl. And shout out her. Her stepdad passed away uh, last oh, week, okay. and I've been I've been talking to her, and she's hanging in there. Um, but it was her mom's husband, and I know her mom, so shout out to her, her mom and her kids and the whole family. This this Stafford family. So it's kind of a little sad thing. I have to make sure I mention that. Um, but she, but she just she comes in and makes these. I mean, whether it's her choices, which sometimes they are, she'll say that they are, and then sometimes it's the, the director's choice. She nails it. I mean, the thing is. She's so Michelle is brilliant. You guys are right, but she just—it's like she brings all this stuff onto herself, but then you feel a little sorry for it. Those scenes you feel a little sorry for, like like this, she's realizing why should I change? Go ahead, Tammy. This please. is the first time in weeks that I've actually felt sorry for Phyllis because more than not, she's been pissing me off. Right. Right. She's just been self-sabotaging herself. She has, she's resorted to her old ways with Danny. It's just like enough is enough is enough. And this was really just that moment of here's human Phyllis. Yes. Yes. Oh, Tony knows Michelle. Tony's met Michelle several times. Uh, through when she came after us, he, he knows Michelle. Yeah, I remember oh. you dragged me out to meet her and I'm like, I know. I was like, come on, Tammy. You got to come, come, come in. Here. And she was so nice. Well, she's so nice. And she was wonderful. But she was wonderful. I couldn't say anything to her. I was just like, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, she's super, she's super regular person. She's a great person. That's so funny. Um, but when she was talking and she was just saying that you're right, Luther, I'm with you. The Danny pursuit was debacle. And I like the fact that she said, my first thought was revenge. That's my default. But can can we just take a moment to appreciate that transaction between Nick and Phyllis? Because she says to him, guess what my first thought was? And he says, oh, yeah, <laughs> revenge. Yep. And she looks at him and says, revenge. And it was, it was, it's like, it was calm. It was comedian gold. Like, it was the chemistry between the two actors, let alone yes. Yes. the history of the characters, is yes. just you almost want them to get back together again. Yes, I do. Well, you know, that's the thing. But the thing is, remember Sharon, Sharon, the wrong person, Phyllis and Nick started out as cheaters. That's how they started out. It was this whole sexual chemistry. So I, but they have grown to be great co parents. And I think, and Nick's a different type of guy, like you said, he's just, he wouldn't. I'm glad that he chose not to sleep with her. He was on to her. It was, but she was still safe with him. When they're in the room, she was still safe with him. And when she went to go kiss him, and he's like, he's like, ah, and like, it, was, it was hilarious. But it's like, and she gave him a small kiss to the cheek. It was, he like he said, I will always, I will always have your back. I will always be there for you. And I think the thing about Nick is that with her, compared to the others. They will always have, he will always admire her. He'll always be attracted to her. He'll always have something with her. But it's like, you know, it's like, it's like he knew going there would not be good. You know, what's interesting is I think Phyllis has that relationship with all the men in her life. There's just something about her that at the end of the day, the men in her life have that soft spot for her. Well, let's bring up Billy. <laughs> that was comical too. The next, the next day, her giant glasses. Oh my god! I love those berries. glasses, Michelle. Where did you get those, those I know. amazing Jackie O over the top glasses? Yes, oh <laughs> hilarious! And Billy walks there. She's like, oh, oh my god! She's like, I was just telling them, just leave, just, just leave. I was just here buying my own business. Everybody tells me to buy my own business. I was laughing, and Billy's just like, okay, like it, it just it was. And he, and he when he came back, he goes. I'm back. I mean, he's good. He couldn't like. He couldn't stay away. Like you said, he couldn't stay away. He really wanted to kind of help her. It was like they have their own past, also. It was so, like you said, it was so funny. He's just just a razziner and razziner, <laughs> and she's like, "I'm not doing anything. anything. I just want to enjoy my Bloody <laughs> Mary. Like, why are you doing this?" I know. <laughs> like he was going to start laughing. Right. It was. It was all hilarious. I, I screamed, "Billy, leave her alone!" I know. But Michelle can do comedy. She totally can do comedy. Oh, yeah. she can do both. We know she can do drama. We know that. 
Um, no, she can do comedy. And there and it was just like, and even when <laughs> when Summer and Chance came in, we'll, 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 we'll get to that in a second. Mm-hmm. When they come in, and yeah, exactly, we'll get to that in a second. Mm-hmm. The the filming of well, we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> um, but how she was just like cheerful for it, just like, why are you so happy for me? I was like, I can't be happy for my daughter. Like, I can't. It just it was like I was even comical then too, kind of. It's like something's going on. It's like everybody knows her, but like something's going on. But underlying all of that. I just felt Michelle was trying to express that every she in her eyes, everyone else gets second chances and she doesn't. Hey, Phyllis. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, Michelle, I feel the same way. I don't know, girl. No, I'm um, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Michelle Phyllis. feels that Phyllis. <laughs> Thank you uh, for correcting me, please. I was like, oops, I meant Phyllis. Oh, uh, that's that's good. That's good. Um, and I think she she abused this kind of like there is this kind of underlining like all you mfers out there do all this s and somehow come out on top, but I can't seem to get there myself. That you guys will not let me get there, and that oh uh, and uh, and she just and she's and. I mean, no matter if she's done it to herself or not, just that that's her that's her feeling. You know, I used to always say every villain is a hero in their own story. She's she's a victim in her own story. I do this, I try to change, I do this, I do it, and I still can't win. Well, you know, she's she said something so profound and so sad at the same time. She told Nick when Danny came back into town, she really felt like they were going to get back together again because that was going to be her reward for working so hard and trying so hard to change and be a better person that having Danny back in her life was going to be a reward. And she was like convinced that's why she fought so hard for it. And I thought, that's not how it works. But I get it. I get it. Exactly. Like this synchronicity. He came back in town for a reason. It must be, must be kismet. Like it's meant to be. It has to be. But it wasn't. <laughs> like, and you're right. And the thing is, and you know, everybody in chat is right. She's done things to herself. She's done it. We like we, we get all that. Saying, I'm saying, but I'm saying, my, we could list all the things besides all that. I'm saying, but I think her the undercarriage of that character is, I'm a victim. I've tried this. It didn't work because I had my own. Because she had her own agenda, and even though the agenda was not really a horrible agenda, it was more like she wants redemption. She wants to be seen differently by her kids, by the community, and she thought that you said she thought that was the way to do it. Yeah. So. You know. So that that begs the question: Can she change? Like, what? What? Where does Phyllis go from here? Oh uh, no! I Luther says Phyllis only wanted Danny because he wanted Christine. Only wanted Danny because he wanted Christine. Yeah. I think I. I will only half agree with that with that story. It's all about competition. I, I I disagree with that, but I think I agree with part of it. I think part of it is what Tammy said. She also viewed Danny as redemption. They do have a kid together. I know they were never hugely romantically in love, but he was he was attracted he was attracted to her too, and he did lead her on a little bit. I mean, he admitted it. Danny admitted it. Um, the, there was something about that rock star thing that he was doing um, and being wishy washy. He was not clear enough. But I think, but in in the end, I think I think for for Phyllis, part of that was because Chris, she can't have Jack, and and now, and but before she wasn't looking at Nick or anything, but before she could have Jack, because Diane got him. And I think she I think she does love Jack on some level, mm-hmm. um, and 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 so now Danny was the other. Danny goes all the way back right to the beginning, so I so I only half agree with that statement. So but I would say I don't think it was all just about Christine. I think I think. Christine is a byproduct of that whole that triangle. They've had for de- for decades with that triangle. Her and Christine will never be friends ever. Never be friends. No, they shouldn't be. They should never be friends. Even in even, real life, they're good friends, but outside of outside of show, they will never be friends. If, even if Phyllis gets hit on a head on the head by a boulder and authentically wants to be friends with Cricket, Cricket will never have it. Even if, even if she has a needs a hip replacement because the the poisoning is half poisoning her hip. Oh, sorry, it's wrong show. <laughs> Let's general hospital. Sorry, um, <laughs> no, it will never happen. 
Uh, we, yes, we are. We are. Yes, yes, Luther. I do know that they're not the union of the of of. of they're not net is that. Uh, yes, I know that Danny is not. Um, his is not his biological father. Right. I don't need. A, I don't need a history on that. I know all the whole history. It doesn't matter. He's his father. Yeah. They raised together. She wants a family. Also, it doesn't matter biological or not. That's that's just that's that's Daniel's father. It's the only father Daniel's ever really known. And you know, it's interesting when we look back at Phyllis and her attempts at being a better person and what have you, she does so well until she's triggered and the trigger is always another woman. Like things were going so well with her and Jack. And then Diane came back from the dead. Granted, that's a shocker. That was a shocker. That's going to derail anyone. Yes. Um, yes. You know, and then with Danny, you know, cricket was a trigger for her. Uh it was. I mean, just the thing is, we're not saying that Phyllis is perfect at all, not at all, not at all. I mean, we're just saying that in her mind, she is the victim and she's the one. And we're just saying that 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 Michelle brings her to life on some level. That that's why Phyllis is like popular character. Well, Michelle. your cousin, well, Michael, Michael, same thing. Long Michael. time ago, said to her, "Hun, you need to get a life. Mm -hmm. It's not about who. It's not about a man." Mm -hmm. and being lonely it's like you need to get a life find something that you're passionate about mm -hmm. you know and then when she started to work for daniel and like she's been moved into these really yeah. weird jobs writer's problem obviously i was just gonna say is this intentional or is this a, a writer's problem i surprised i think that the i i like when she ran the grand phoenix i loved her girl, we miss our girl we miss our girl that wore those cute that, that cute outfit the black girl the, the cute outfit we miss her I love the Grand Phoenix. I when totally she was running that, that, they yeah. should have just kept her. They should have kept her back. back what a that. great set. I love that set. Well, another show, they're reversing. It looks like they're reversing someone's profession, Alexis, which I'm very happy about. Yeah. Oh, baby, that's the wrong show. That'll be all later. Wrong show. But you can put, but my point is you can do that here too. Write her back to where she was. I don't want her running around. Just give her, give her back to Grand Phoenix. Let her just run that again. She, she's doing fine. Right. She doesn't need to be working for anyone. She needs to be her own boss. Her own boss. That, right? That. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, um, okay, so that's all that's, that's, that's well, We could do a show just on Phyllis. I know, exactly. We could. I'm saying it's just it's I mean, what a complex character. So that's great. <laughs> the next the next little thing that I thought was uh interesting, um, and was kind of a little triggering for me. Oh I, I, so I felt I thought they're doing such a great job. Because again, the show, the writing can be so bad in certain storylines. But then they do a storyline with the Connor storyline, mm. like OCD, mm -hmm. and him doing the hat, pulling the thing. And Judah McKay did a great job. He kept doing it over and oh, like they were like a kid, like a, a person would do that. And that triggered me a little bit. I was like, oh my god, that's that's very hi, Laura. Thank you. Um, that's that what and and when he's and when he said, I I hate this. I hate that doctor. I don't. I hate myself. I yeah. got teary eyed. That knocked the window. Oh my god! To have those words come out of a child's mouth is heart wrenching. Yes. Just you don't ever want to hear those words. You yeah. just you just don't because you now know that they are in a really dark space. Like your chances of trying to reach them at that point is. Oh my gosh! And you can see, I want to say I'm gonna get the real name. I'm trying to get the, I'm to get the real names and the real. I, I want to get the real names. I want to say uh, Melissa Claire Egan, and oh my god, Wait, I want to come to Adam, um, Mark. Mark Mark Grossman did such a good job in that reaction. Wow, and I and I love this whole leading up to this, the whole Nick and Adam. Mm -hmm. Just this is all about the kids. It's like a little bit about you too. I'm here for you, but the kids, I love that. It's just like if you need anything, I'm here. If you need anything, you good. And him just talking about how hard this is, and him and Sally talking about him. Just, I mean, just a regular kind of. There was no outside external. It's just like it's all about this kid and how they're trying to reach him, and it's so hard. But when he said that, I was like, wow. And they were doing the service announcements afterwards, which is very cool on some of the shows. They do this already with Judy McKay, and if they do, if anybody knows that, which is very smart, also. Um, but I just thought, what great work again! It's like so weird out of nowhere. There's this great little storyline here. Like, okay, now, now, now I'm invested. Now I'm invested. 
So here's my thought with Connor's storyline and Harrison. Oh, yes. And how their storylines are going to tie into Claire. I think so. And her gift with children. Children. Her interaction, that scene with Harrison was so precious. It was very cute. Hey, Judas needs an Emmy that child can act. Yes, I agree. No, he, no, he's, doing a good, no he's doing a great job. I, I was like, okay. I mean, he's in the hands of two great actors. Well, three. He's in the hands also um, Emmy winner Jason Thompson. I mean, he's in good, he's in good hands. Um, and it's it's just, it's very much, um, I just, I now I'm invested. I guess after this week, I was like, now I'm, I mean, I'm watching it. I'm kind of watching it. But when he said that line, I was heartbroken. I was oh. like, I can't imagine a kid telling me this. And you know, as you know, I just went, I went through this with my grandson recently. Mm. Um, and I'm dealing with that. He's older, but just not feeling like you should be here or just don't like yourself. It's hard to see that. It's really hard to see that. We've all been there on some level sometimes, but to hear your kids or grandkids go through it, it's really tough. So it triggered me a little bit, but it was good. It's a good trigger. It's a good trigger. It's like, this is, this is, I said again, in this, this major, this major soap opera, they have this little storyline here that's actually kind of working. Um, then you have the Harrison thing, which was going to that a little bit. It's not really much to go into. It's a little bit that it's that those scenes are great, but also it's showing how divorce, how separation is that is natural. It's natural for kids to act out, and you know, and he's he's had a lot of turmoil in his young life. I mean, he just he's had. He's I mean, and I love that she said it's my stepson because she know he knows his mother who's in jail. And now he has his stepmother, right. and now the stepmother's not with his father, and you know it's it's, it's crazy. I get it. Yeah, I get it. So, but not much about that story. Just that that's a little brief thing because that was more of a Claire meeting her cousin Summer. That's, I was a little uh, nervous about that actually. I know, but it went fine. Julia said, "I don't know if it's too much, but if you're comfortable, how would you like to meet your family?" I thought, oh God, how, how is Summer going to react to her? I was afraid. Well, Summer's going to start doing these sort of scenes for next week. She's going to be digging into. Oh, yeah. So that should be interesting. Um, Haley Aaron is doing great work. She's doing wonderful work. Um, and check out my interview with Haley Aaron. It's out there. Why don't we call it? My friend Aaron. We, we had a good talk. Check that out now. Um, and oh, the part that made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> When Harrison and Kyle ran into Aunt Ashley, oh we'll get to her storyline in a second. But when they got to Aunt Ashley, and they're like they both were like something wrong with the girl. Like it was like it made me Ashley laugh. Like she was on crack. I was like, hi, oh my god, and, and house kindergarten, and blah blah. And, they, and both of them were like, and that was <laughs> Kyle's expression was hysterical. Like, uh, you good? What is so? They show, I'm like, I'm laughing because they show the previews for next week. And she's like, hey, bro. And then Billy's like, hey, sis. I was like, <laughs> yeah. it, it, looks, it just looks like it's going to be a mess. Yeah. So this whole, well, actually, I guess we'll go into a little bit because it's, I mean, it's what's, yeah, we'll go into it. It, it leads into it. We, we, we got so many things to talk about. We'll get to everything. So what's so funny, well, here's the thing, Ethel. I will just agree with that because. This was an opportunity. She says she thinks Victoria should tell Summer the truth about Claire the entire truth. How are you going to do that when he just, I mean, like, you're in a public setting. This is her daughter. This is your cousin. But there's nothing to tell yet because they just met in a public place. Like, let me tell you everything about her now. I disagree with that statement. You're not going to tell anybody. Well, Summer read a lot about what happened. Yeah, yeah. So, so she already knows. Yeah, that's suffice. You're in a coffee yeah. shop. That's yeah, she should know some of the stuff already because since Claire was part of all that stuff with Jordan, yeah. but it's like, there's nothing that they can't. I mean, it's like they just met up in public. I mean, you got to be looking. So let me sit down from the chill and tell you everything. I mean, like, it's not gonna, I mean, it was just a meeting. It was just fine. I know. And Claire and Kyle, everybody's looking at that potential kind of possibly. I love I, seeing Claire oh, and Kyle. Claire and Kyle? Yes. Oh. There's a little look at, a little look at the end, and someone brought up in the chat room. I was like, I know. Um, uh, well, I I get I guess that's okay. I know. Um, oh, somebody goes the room service food Nick in order look good. Yeah, he shows these food look good. That mac that mac and cheese, the dishes, <laughs> and the mac and cheese, they didn't break into them. I mean, they were. I don't I wanted that mac and cheese so bad. <laughs> 
my god yeah. and then like bye nick i got me two macs and cheeses okay burgers <laughs> i love you bye bye i i love that man it's funny somebody brought that up um but anyway the, okay, um so clearly we already know now we know at this point so ashley has a split personality yeah. So now it's very clear that part, which I couldn't stop laughing. There's a lot of comedy. What are there. you laughing about? When she was sitting, she was sitting there with Abby and her her inside. Oh, gun. that was hysterical! Like, in a, like, like God, this child's annoying. Or <laughs> like, this is so exhausting, Ashley. I can't wait till I clean up this mess because. This is ridiculous. I was laughing at how she was just kind of, her eyes were glazed over. She was drinking that wine. And Abby was like, if yeah, something's wrong, when she said it, she goes, her annoying daughter. I was like, oh my God. I couldn't stop laughing. I couldn't stop laughing. Oh my God. Nice. That was. That's nice. That was like, that was, that was, that was just, it made me just made me laugh. So she's clearly, clearly, that's the personality. And I think it's, Soapy goodness. I'll say this. That hi everybody. Soapy goodness. Forty people watching. Thank you. Might like the like button. That Tucker sees something's wrong with her. I think it's soapy goodness that he recognizes something. He's up the with only her. one. It's the only one. Everyone's saying there's something. She's a little off. But no one is making that connection except him. That. She's having a mental, she's having a psychotic breakdown. She's having a, there's been a mental breakdown. No yes. one's making that connection. No. You know, it's, the I, same, it's, a, it, it's the same thing that happened when Nikki was drinking her way through Genoa City. <laughs> and none of the kids were making the connection. Victor, no one's making the connection that there's a problem. But she's going to meetings. Like their denial really pissed me off. It's like, really? And it's the same thing with, with poor Ashley. Like no one is taking this seriously. And But I like that it's him. I know, but I feel bad like, for Audra because she doesn't get it. She doesn't get it. And I see why she doesn't get it. I, 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 get it. I do too. I'd be the same thing. I would be exactly the same way. I would right. be handling it the exact same way. Right. Me too. No, me too. Bad for her. Me too. Um, well, thank you, Caroline. She's, she's new to the channel and oh, watching yeah. my content. I love it. Well, thank you, Caroline Spencer. Okay, bold and beautiful. You can go on there. I love that. Um, Tucker loves Ashley. I think, yeah, I think I think he does. And yeah, he's a little crazy control for all this stuff. We get all that. But the all this stuff she's doing to him, and again, he's not falling for it. He's like, this bitch is crazy. But like, there's just he's just like, there's something off. Yeah. And, he can't put his finger on it, but he's like, she needs help. So I thought, what interesting, what kind of interesting turn they decide to make it so that it's not, he's not doing anything. It's not him. You know that's, what? That's shocker. It's not it's him. A redemption story for him. That's what it is. That's what it is. He's going to be the one that saves her. I think so. And lose Audra in the process. I, I know that. I know that. If I, if I, elf, two, two of selves, so I'm driven. But I mean, there's there's part of that loot there, but part of it totally is. Why do you think Ashley is going crazy? I mean, you just wouldn't think that. I mean, just oh. Ashley's a put together, you know, strong woman. You just wouldn't. You wouldn't just unless you unless just something crazy in front of you that's openly crazy. Anybody would think. I would think anybody would be like, why is, she wants you back? That's what that's what all she sees. That's what Ashley wants her to. Well, the altar wants her to see. Well, Tucker told Audra she's having Ashley's having a mental breakdown. And Audra said, uh, that woman that just confronted me and said, uh, she's got you exactly where she wants you. That. That, that confident woman, you're telling me she's having some kind of mental breakdown. Yeah, no, I don't think that. I don't, you're you're in love with her again. Yeah. 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 And she doesn't know Ashley's history. That's right, Luther. She doesn't know Ashley's history. So has she, I mean, I know she's had mental breaks before, but has she had a multiple personality story no. before? No, so, so I think it's because the days are our lives. I think this is why they're, they're fine doing it. She's always had breakdowns. She's never had a, she's never had a multiple personality. Okay. This okay. is the first. This is the first. Okay. 
I just why everybody's so excited. I see everybody's excited in the chat room online. They know we know what Eileen Davis can do. We saw her do it on. She played five characters, folks, on Days of Our Lives. We we know she can do it. So I think fans are just like, oh my god, they're very excited about this. That How was... do I feel about it? We know she can pull it off. Yeah, it's one of those things again, Tammy. Here's the thing: they have great actors. That that's not the problem. I mean, that's never that's never the problem. It's the writing. I see that all these shows, all four shows, have great actors. That's not never the problem. It's writing and storyline. So we know you throw anything at them. I mean, come on, Amy Davis is a two-time Emmy winner. She could, yeah, she could do it. Yeah, of course she could do it. Of course she could do it. Scene where she goes back to the to the Abbott house. Yes. And Ashley is screaming at her, "This isn't going to work." This is going to backfire. And she screams, I need to take control. And and other Ashley like, drops the glass and she's holding her head. I kind of freaked out. That moment scared the bejesus out of me. That's like completely freaked me out. And then the next second, other Ashley maintained control. Like, nope, you're not coming out, girl. I'm taking care of you. You're not coming out. It's like, oh, my gosh. I agree with you. I totally agree with you. So she's going so to see how this kind of plays out. But I also love when Tucker said, when, I love when Audra <laughs> didn't open the door all the way. She, but she, she put the, the chain on, then opened the chain. I thought that was a great attention to detail. Yeah, she's that physical. But, physical. but he asked, are we, uh, is every, are we all, are we all over? Or just us? But he's worried about Glissade. He's like, he really want to know. And she didn't answer. That's how he left it. She didn't answer. That's, that's, that's I, I can say, I forgot, they are, they've been partners in, cri in crime, so to speak, partners in yeah. business for so long that that's a legit question. They have that, they have that side of them too. So even if they ended as lovers or whatever, there is another side. And that's a legitimate question. He's, he's always counted on her on some level. I'd love that conversation between Audra and Sally. That's good. Let's go right, let's go right yeah, to that. I want to say, that's what like, Audra and Sally? It goes back to that door with the chain on it, you know, Sally saying, if this, if you feel this is the love that needs to be fought for, then you need to fight for it. So when he asked her, are we over? What was her sarcastic remark? What part of something do you not understand? Yeah, what, 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 part, what part of over do you not, do you not comprehend or something? You understand? Yeah, I mean, those are really flippant. It wasn't a definitive, yes, no. we're done. No. Right? It was that, that kind of response is still very murky. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think it's just it's but Audra and Sally, love it. I am here for them 100%. They need friends, they need they don't have any friends, they need they need they need somebody other than men. And Adam's reaction to finding them together was a laugh out loud moment. He was like, Oh, he's like, he's like, he's like, I'm like, well, and when we were talking, it was, and it was funny because <laughs> it's like, because and he's like. I don't like believe we compare it to Tucker. To Tucker. She's like, no offense to you. I was like, she was like, no offense. I'm just saying. What'd you say? Where well, you're not well liked here or multiple places. They, they said so. It was some line. It was hilarious. It was like here and other places. I was like, <laughs> that is correct. I was laughing. So Luther says, Audrey and Sally are two sort of sides of the same coin. And Luther, I agree with you because that's what Adam said. I see why it's, you both are strong business women, women trying to get there. There is something about those two. I'm like, yeah, I can see them being friends. Absolutely. I can, I can see them. If I ain't challenged them to be friends too. I want, I, I think they need a thing. She needs somebody other than, because who's who because, because Chelsea's busy. And Chelsea already has Chloe, so to speak. Right. So Sally needs somebody of her own. Uh, the honest reaction was funny. Yeah, it was. Um, Adam and Audrey look good on their wedding cake. You know, Adam and Audra, they never really never really gone there. I think I mean Adam and Sally, I think, are the end game, of course. For sure. You know, but I love their but I loved I love I just, I just loved all the, the three of them, the two of them, the three of them. It just it, it energized me a little bit. I went, okay, I like this. I'm like, I hope it does continue. I hope it doesn't turn into an adversarial relationship. Let's just let's have some friendships on daytime. Exactly. You know, Carolyn in the Carolyn Spencer, her question, what do you think if they get Audra crazy too? And that's what's interesting about Audra and Sally. Sally's done some crazy ass stuff in the past. 
Yes. Audra is absolutely capable of matching Sally craziness. I, so so. I love their, their possible friendship so much mm -hmm. because they really do have a lot in common. They do. They do. <laughs> they do. I just expect it. I was just like, oh, okay. Again, the show that sometimes will drive me nuts. Then just something like this, you go, okay, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I was yeah, I, I want to see what happens. I'm totally in. Totally. I wouldn't trust Audra my man if I was Sally. Of course. Well, Audra's hot, so it doesn't matter. You know, she's hot. Um, also, a little tidbit. We're seeing Chance and um Summer doing it and doing it and doing it well and doing it and doing it and doing it. And the shower angles that they had, I was like pressed up against the shower door. Okay. I loved it. Billy gets him on the phone. Like, hey, you're back. Cool. Okay, so uh, I need to see you as soon as possible. Chance. Uh, yeah. Okay. Chance. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna be a little late, so start eating without me. Bye. And he runs into the shower with Summer. <laughs> and when they walked in, and Billy looked. Billy tried his best. He he wanted to say something so bad. Everybody's glowing. She goes, I mean, I guess Chance gave it to her. Oh, yeah. Now, I've seen some folk online say it was boring. I don't know what you we think more they could have did, done did, because it is daytime television. They can't do much more than what they did. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, I mean, I'm trying to figure out what the... It's like, Lucia, when Summer said, you coming. <laughs> 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 Gotta go. <laughs> he's like, he didn't drop everything to go to go. He's like, I will get I will get this first, but then I, then I will come into the <laughs> office. So. Yes, we have 52 people who yeah, 52, we have 52 people in the chat. Hello, everybody. Welcome. If it's your first time, welcome to JLJ Media. Welcome to Wide On Me Spotlight. We normally do this on Sundays, of course, at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'll be off the next few weeks, but we will be back. But I'm glad you're here today. So hit the like button if you want to. Super chats and donations are welcome. Uh, tell your tell a friend, all that stuff. Do all that. Um, and we're missing one person. Just uh, Amanda must must not have stuff yet. But Amanda Russ is also part of our team, so I'll make sure if you you have seen her yet, you'll see her in upcoming ones. Okay. Um, okay. Thank you, Alex, for checking that. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah. So summer and chance, they, they're 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 in bliss. They're doing their thing. So that's kind of fun. Um. Now we're going to we'll, we'll, we'll go to Lily's back. Wow. So happy she's back. So happy. A lot, a lot happened for her when she came back. So happy the actress is back. Crystal Khalil. Missed her, her a baby. lot. Had her baby in real life. You know. Yeah, she's good. But Tammy, she came back to two scenarios um, immediately. And, and what was it? Was it uh, Devon said you came back at the best worst time? <laughs> yes. Literally. <laughs> I love that. So I loved when I love when Nate and Chance were kind of talking. Right? Like, if we don't step in, this whole thing is just going to get blown up. We got to do something because we're the only ones that can think straight. Ooh. <laughs> I was like, all righty. But Lily came in. So where should we go first? Should we go to work or should we go to personal life? Because she let's, had to let's, let's go to her with her bags of groceries and... Again, lettuce. In Girlfriend, in. was that cat? Was that lettuce or celery or whatever? I don't Again, know. I, it was like a romaine bush or something. I don't know what the I hell. I thought of you again. I was like, "What's going on with these salads?" I mean, I love a salad. But That's she me. walks in on a Leave It to Beaver moment, man. Oh, totally. like a happy family. Oh my god, that was horrible. I was horrified. Oh, Tammy, this was this way. I'm gonna re reenact it for a second. So you come through the door, and it was like the all three went. At the table, father, son, daughter. Wait, father, son, father, <laughs> father, mother, daughter. They all just said the letter, like, What are you doing here? And then um, his face is like, You're back. Hey, you didn't tell me you were coming home. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, my God. And he Heather's sitting there like, I, I, like, I can't deal with Daniel. He's such a jackass. Yes. He He's so He's spineless and just like, Ugh. Well, folks in the chat, 
are very are very like Lee did not react the way she should have. Now here's the deal. Only defense of Lily, she even said it. I'm the level headed one. Yeah. Right. You expect me if I you know you wouldn't expect me to go off. That was the whole thing, and I think that's what she they kind of addressed why she didn't go off. Is I'm almost glad she didn't. Yeah, me too. She will. She will. You know, when she she said to Devon, it took everything in me to not slap Daniel in the face and you. And you. That was such an authentic, real moment. It's like I am trying every I am trying so hard right now to just keep it under control. You're lucky I'm not slapping you in the face right now. Like I totally got that moment. She will lose it. She will oh, yeah. have those moments. I she will. Lily was classy, yes, Luther. And after, I was just going to say that. Heather was sitting like a cat. So all the canaries. She was sitting there just like. I can't wait for that scene when Lily confronts Heather. I can't oh, I know. wait. It's going to happen, guys. It's going to happen. It's going to be. It's, she was calm. It's going to happen, you guys. I think it was just like, she has a class. Everybody's like, she has a class act. But she, she, said, she said that. She was like, I'm, you know, it's going to happen. Don't worry. Yeah. I, just think, I just think she it was, it was just too much to handle. And I know somebody's coming in, folks. Let's see if she makes it in. The Mississippi tornadoes coming in. <laughs> but Devon, no, Devon, I think Devon had it well. There she is. So pretty. And her green. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'll wear my green for our next show. Hi, you guys okay over there? Yeah, the weather's so bad. I hope y'all don't hear it because it's bad. Oh my God, James, do you hear her sexy voice? <laughs> like, what the hell? You don't see she's Brenda Vaccaro. I've got my hair. Damn, she's like, oh. Yeah, look at all skinny and everything. <laughs> Did I miss <laughs> anything? Yeah, you missed a lot. So, so we're, not going, we're not going back in time. You have we're talking about control. Lily. We're talking about, we just started talking about Lily, Lily. walking in on So, her. start that. I'm going to get something to drink really quick. Refresh yeah. my drink. So, you guys, yeah, I'll come right back. Okay. So, <laughs> just started on the Lily returning conversation. She walks in on the, the family moment and Daniel's all, oh, hi, I didn't know you were coming home. And the chat is a little upset because they were expecting Lily to have a much stronger reaction, like more angry, more confrontational. And James and I were saying that scene where she says to Devon, I'm doing everything in my power to not slap Daniel in the face or you. Like you can see she wants to lose it, but that's not really who she is. And in time, she probably will. So that's where we're, that's where we're at. I love how she was like, um, did you get back with Heather? Like she just <laughs> yeah. immediately was like, um, I'm sorry, did you get back with Heather? Or like, uh, oh yeah. Yeah. She it did seem very like nonchalant, right? Well, she said, are you in love with her? Back in love with her? And he goes, I never stopped loving her. I want to slap the shit, shit out of him. Just son of a B. That would have been helpful information like months ago. Well, isn't that when she said, you know, there's a fine line between being honest and TMI? Yep. Right? Like he didn't need to say that. He didn't. My thing, but my thing is she was absorbing all this. It was a lot to handle. Just came from a very stressful situation. Very. So I feel like the coming, she'll go off on her at some point. Don't worry, it's gonna happen. It's just like right now, it was like when it's like when Amanda went off on Devon later. Yeah. It's like they, 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 they gotta get a little minute, you gotta pull together. Yeah. You know, and then when I see you later, bitch. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna powerful talk about it. women don't get triggered like that. Right. Right? You know, they're gonna process things and then eventually something it'll It'll happen, but yeah. Well, it'll happen, folks. I want, I want Lily's skirt. Her skirt, oh. skirt. That pleather, leather, whatever it was. Oh, yeah, I love that. Please have that skirt. Oh, my gosh. I'm going on Worn on TV to see if they get oh, There you go, that. right? There you go. <laughs> um, So that was, but then she had to go to work. 
and see her brother, who knew. Remember, Javad wanted to tell her, but it wasn't his place to tell. That's not his place, but still, I can. I know you're upset. No, she has right to be upset a little bit, but I'm saying, but he recognized. I mean, it's it's it it was not. I mean, it was not his place to tell, and it was so good. So though, so they, but then you got work stuff going on, and Billy, you know. They want to split her everything in half, and she's like, "What?" And do all this, do all this separate stuff, and it's just like, and and um and and uh, what's her name? Abby's having to be back in the fold doing stuff. I mean, everybody's just. I'm like, it's kind of funny seeing all of them, and you're all. I mean, it's. I hope, I hope they make it something really good. Abby looked amazing. I loved her little oh, faux Chanel jacket, and you know the hair back with like shook the amazing. It always looks good. We're so ordinary. Yeah. Too corporate, you know what I mean? Like that image. Yeah. Like I love it, I love it. Yes. Um, so, what do you think about the that idea of keeping the name, but the two entities operating separately? It's it's weird. It's it's, 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 the, it's the writing. It's the writing. It it's is the, weird. It's weird. It's the it's writing. Very weird of a thing to do, right? You know what I did? Like I liked when Lily told. Daniel, that Heather absolutely planned this because he was like, "Don't be mad at Heather. <laughs> Don't tell me who to be mad at." And she absolutely planned this. Yeah, but the the work stuff is confusing to me. Me too. Half time. So hopefully they can all work this out, folks. Because I don't. I mean, I'm confused half time. So I'm like, who's doing what and what? Where what? How what? So every company would just be its own thing again. Yeah, I guess. And why do we go through? I, yeah, I just I don't know what's more to say about that. Um, but okay, folks, I know someone mentioned um, Taraya. So we had them. What, was there one day we had them on last week? They were, they did they had some scenes together. Mm -hmm. Any any thoughts? I mean, I have no thoughts. Any I thoughts? have no thoughts either. You guys in the chat, what are your thoughts? So we saw them on. We saw them on for a day. Okay, they're like looking for a house or something, right? Yeah, I mean, again, they're not I invested in. They're not invested in them. I don't. I don't understand. I'm like. I don't know what to say. I'm, they're not invested in them, so I don't know what. I don't. I mean, they're, they're con five scenes in one show. Okay, yeah, five scenes in one show. Got it. Okay, five yeah. scenes in one show. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I mean, so I'm like, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to. I mean, I don't understand either what they're doing with them. Yeah, with them. I don't understand what they're doing. I mean, homegirls running society, going herself. Apparently, she like forgot how much she missed it or something. Oh, okay. And they did I mean, mention. Which is what I was just more to say. I mean, I wish I was more to say. I mean, yeah. they're cute together. That we like them scenes. I don't know. And I guess there's a thing about there's some kind of Cassie thing coming up apparently. Um. So I, okay, I guess we'll yeah. just wait and see. I just I don't I just don't. I don't Their I, time will will come. Their story. Hopefully, hopefully will come. Yeah. Hopefully, will come. Know. I'm hoping, but I have nothing. I mean, I have nothing. <laughs> the only thing that we learned was that Tessa is still healing from her throat thing. Yes. That's okay. it. That's it. I know someone in the chat said, I hope you guys talk about Taraya. And I thought, well, there's not a lot That's to talk hard. about. That was there's terrible. Not, there's not much to talk about. Like, there's there's not anything to talk about. But I mean, they look beautiful. They look we're beautiful. Always happy they're to gonna see them. I mean, I don't there's not, there's nothing there's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing exciting to talk about. Yeah, we need I to throw them to one of the storylines throw them into a newman storyline throw right, them into like, an abbott storyline story like, right. throw them into a storyline that's, that's what i'm saying i don't yeah you know, nothing, like, nothing to say like what's going on well oh, they're just being used they're, they're being used as filler well you're right, exactly right there's not i mean nothing to say um well now it's time for the big storyline i said it for last oh i made it just in time time it's just time yeah I mean, it's a big storyline. I know. It's boom. I was wrapped up. I don't know if that was her as an actress making up that entrance into the alleyway with the gun, but I was laughing out loud. I know. I was I was laughing too there doing that. She's like doing that. So there are several things going on in the storyline that I do enjoy. One, the redefinition of Claire and Nikki's relationship is happening. 
We got a flashback. Oh, I was like, please, 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 please don't and go there. Not pray. Flashback. <laughs> and they did. They did. They they totally had a flashback. And it was like we're you know, puffy faced, young, young Molly Thomas Scott. We love her. All the big, beautiful, gorgeous hair she had. Um, and her and, and and Eric Bray with his mustache and all that stuff. I just, I thought I loved it. Yeah, it was. The I best. loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I, I loved enough it. Enough of it. Um, it was it was uh, fun to see that. But her telling about her, about her story, telling tell, yeah. telling Claire, and they're beginning. They're, they're kind of starting to relate to each other a bit because Claire rightly feels like I I and she's taking she's taking responsibility. I did all these things. I must be triggering to you. And but Nikki's like getting it. Like it's not really it's. Jordan poisoned you. Yes, you did them, and I stuff. But like, I don't. You're part of your family now, so to speak. We did talk about Claire. We talked about everything else today, uh, Claire. We've been on for 55 minutes, so now we're on to this is the last one. <laughs> yeah. We've been on for we, we're on at 10 o'clock. I just got here too. <laughs> we're on at 10 o'clock in the day, so we already talked about everything else. Everything else we talked about. But I am excited about Claire becoming Harrison's nanny because that is what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, I think so. We didn't mention that, that, so that's cool. Yeah, so I think yeah, I think Kayla is going to happen. I think it's going to happen. Um. But no, but I, I'm liking that they're redefined it. And she's like, and she's telling the story and kind of filling her on the other side of things. And that Claire feels like, oh my God, um, am I just like my mother, my grandmother, my aunt? It's so real, right? Like, wouldn't you be worried that that disease, that mental disease is, is in you? Mm-hmm. And it, maybe something could just trigger it and I'm going to go down the crazy road? Yes. That's scary. It is scary. It's it was very real. Not crazy. You, you yeah. guys completely trust Claire, right? Totally. Well, Adam. Well, Adam doesn't. Well, that's okay. No, Amanda doesn't either. And I, I right? <laughs> because uh, <laughs> let me tell you this. What did she say? Oh, he's not going to leave her locked up in the dungeon, is he? Why you care? Yeah, Kenneth goes. Say my third eyes on Miss Claire. <laughs> I like I actually I trust her. I think she was damaged. I mean, from the twenty something years of all of this, I think she was poisoned and damaged. She has to come out of it. I was like being in a cult. And remember, Nikki talked about that. I was in a cult. <laughs> that. Um, she's a prostitute. She was in a cult or whatever. She mentioned all that stuff, dancing and everything. Um, I just think I don't know. Maybe you're. I mean, maybe you're right. I mean, you, you never know. I mean, it's a soap opera, so we don't know what the writing's doing, but. Uh, and folks, you haven't caught my interview with Haley Aaron. Check it out now. Why I'm in spotlight, Haley Aaron, or the daytime today, Haley. Aaron, whatever, it's out now. So check it on YouTube. Uh, it's good. Um, we talk about everything. Um, she. That's a good poll. If you have time for a poll, do you trust Claire? <laughs> that's, that's, oh, that's, that's, that's a good, good one. one. That's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Still, do a little. I haven't done a poll. i poll. I did have a moment to your point, Amanda, when she said, "When well, you're not going to, you know, leave her there," and. I, I mean, I thought it was kind of a human moment. You know, while this woman is scary and you don't want her in your life anymore, at the same time, the thought of leaving someone in that room to rot, that's like, how can you sleep? At, like Victor Victor could sleep with himself knowing she's rotting in that room. But I don't right. think anyone else in the family could live with that. Yeah. I'll give you an example. So I was in court on Friday against my will. I testify. I was testifying a case, um, totally against. I was wondering it was against my will. Trust me. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a family dispute. It was a father. It was a mother and son. The son did damage to the mother's car, but the whole point was when the DA was talking to her and asking her, "Well, you know, we can get a protective order against him and blah blah,", blah and she hemmed and hawed about it. You know, she kept saying, "I just don't want him at my house anymore." Like it's her son. I guess. I guess mm-hmm. my point kind of is. Claire's reaction was years of this was her mother figure. Right. Can't just turn it off. Well, yeah. I'm a bold and beautiful. We'll get into that too. <laughs> Another story there too. But it's like you just, it's just, it's just not, I don't think it's, you know, I, it, it, yeah. Uh, so far in the poll, hell no, 43%. Is that last wow. night though? Not, not last night, because yes and maybe are, cl- are close. They're all they're all they're all close. That's fascinating. You know, so that's I so yes. Hi Judy. Um it's it's 
But anyway, so that's why anyway, so what do I say? So yeah, so I'm kind of liking that they're they're redefining the relationship. Victoria and Cole are getting to know her also. Adam's like, no, bitch, I'm not all, I'm not for you at all. I yeah. kind of like that, of course. That makes oh. sense. That makes, totally makes sense. And and uh, Summer said, let me do my research here. Even though Claire's like, I should talk to Adam. Because he knows what it feels like to be in the in the situation, which it could be kind of funny if she is innocent. I mean, I said they could probably relate more than than most. Um, being a Newman in a family. I like how Clara confronted him in front of the family. Oh yes. Said, you know, everyone has been on board and embraced me, but you have a problem with me. And Nikki's like, can we not talk about this? We need to focus on Victor. <laughs> I like seeing that. Ooh. Yes. You got a problem with me? Yes, you not, got so, a piece of me. So <laughs> far, it's it's Sorry. it's not it's not a landslide. Thirty-seven percent say hell no. Thirty-three or yes, and thirty or maybe. It's, it's oh. like it's really, it's really divided. Wow, that's good. Oh, she's that's kidnapping good. that kid. She's kidnapping that kid. <laughs> you think so? Oh, you think so? What? She's gonna kidnap that kid, Harrison. Claire? Yeah, she's gonna go mental. She's gonna kidnap that kid. No, you're no. That's not gonna happen. Well, no, Amanda says something on our next show. We're going to talk about that. Something she said a while back. That I think it's, I mean, look at Amanda's hair. I uh, don't agree with that either, but we'll talk about that. We'll, we'll talk about that in a second. Like, I, I, I was yelling at you, like, what the hell makes him think this is the, what? Oh, it's, it's you'll get there. Um, do you think Victoria and Cole get back together? That's actually a great question because they're not focusing on them. Not really as a couple or anything. But they're they have that moment where he's got the, the tray of sandwiches, right? Right. And they're ha Victoria saying, I'm not interested in a relationship. And that was kind of the first moment where the writers are saying, okay, spotlight on Cole and Victoria reuniting. Because when he, when he reunited with Ashley a while back, there was something there, but now Ashley's cray cray right now. <laughs> so we can't deal with her at the moment. She's fighting for her life over there. Uh, but yes. Mm -hmm. Who was he really in love with? At the end of the day, who who was Cole's true love? He, lo he loved Ashley. He did love Victoria. With both, I was there for both of them. Um, Victoria said to Adam, "Excuse me, when Adam must be ready, clear." I know. It's like, well, Victoria and Adam have no love lost either. I mean, come on, yeah. they have no love lost whatsoever. It's Nick and Adam who are getting closer. But no, these are Victoria can give two shits about him. But my whole thing is, once again, Abby's not part of. He said the whole family. We're Abby. That's Abby don't know shit. Oh my gosh, she don't know what's going on. Poor thing. She be, her hair curled. She found out what was going on. She like, always oh, is oh. left out. She's always, always left, left out. out. I'm like, uh, writers. She's a. She's also a Newman. There's too many of them. There's too many. There's too many of them. Um, anyway, so that was. So I thought that was fine. So now back now to the other side of the storyline of homegirl dancing. Um, Michael getting a phone call. I won't do anything, Lauren. It's crazy. I won't do anything crazy. I was <laughs> laughing so hard. <laughs> Ernie said that there should have been an extra line for Michael when Jordan showed up with the gun. And then Michael should have said to Victor, Lauren's going to be so mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I was laughing. I was like, oh my God. Michael's face was like, oh my God. Like, it's just like, really? Oh my God. He was, and Victor was just cool, cool, cool. And if you notice, Victor was looking at the gun the whole time. He kept looking at the gun. Like, just watching the gun. And it's calmly like $10, $10 million, a house in the south of France. I was like, I want that. That sounds good to me. Shit. House south of France. New, new, new identity. I but she's, like, I'm not dumb. she's like, I'm not dumb. I, I think remember. someone on Twitter said, when Victor shows up with a leather jacket, you better step down. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> and I couldn't stop laughing in the car when they were driving. And she's like this the whole time. Like, <laughs> on her. Hope, hope they don't dent these bumps or anything. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm like, I couldn't stop laughing. He's just driving. He was changing the mirror. I'm like, I'm like oh my God, this is hilarious. <laughs> Not bothered at all. Not bothered at all. Not at all. Okay. Even in the room. Oh my goodness. And she was like, it's over. It'll be over. And when and 
I, I knew that call was to Nick. I knew that, that was from him. I knew either set him. Uh, I didn't know. I think he must, yeah. must have been a GPA well, because remember him and Adam were talking and he goes, I have to make a, I have to make a stop first. I actually forgot about that moment. Oh, yeah, I okay. Nick okay. Coming. I didn't know who that person was. But I had a feeling it was Nick. And I thought, <clears throat> I said, he was either set up a GPS or something. I, I said, I don't think Nick knew the whole time before that, but I think there was something that, I mean, Vince doesn't do anything half, half-assed. So, and he knew he could, he could count on Nick. Um, but when he turned those tables on, he's like, I'll say when it's over. And <laughs> I was like, that's right. You don't, you don't mess with Richard Newman. I love the arm coming around. <laughs> and then, and then, oh my I God. It. Laughing. Dramatic. Dramatic. I love it. So good. Just the CGI. I'm like, Tammy, I didn't know. I didn't know it was Nick because I was thinking, really? This is important. Where you got to go? Get your ass to the ranch. That's what I was thinking. Like, what are you doing? I had a feeling that's what it was. He trusts his son. And I was like, so he's, he zapped her out. And then. I love how Adam started. got all pissed off. Oh, so Nick was in on this? I know. That's such a, such an Adam reaction. That's such a. He's jealous. He's jealous. It's such an Adam reaction. And 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 and, and Richard didn't play into. He's just like whatever. I did what I had to do. Yeah. But when Michael first showed up without Victor. <laughs> Nikki was pissed. Nikki she was hot was, as fish grease. She was uh, hot as fish grease. Play, playing him, just like yeah, felt so bad for Michael. It's like, I oh know. My God, someone save him. And then Lindsay was like, speak, him. speak. She's like, now. I don't care who else needs to get here. <laughs> You know, I mean, she was like, I am Nicole Newman, bitches, and you need to tell me now what's going on. Good. We're not and waiting like, for Nick. We are not waiting for Nick. She said that. We're not waiting, we're not waiting for him. She's like, like, F Nick. I don't care about him right now. I want to know what's going on with my husband. Her baby, his baby, his baby. It was a, she was not, she was not having it. She was like, nope, you got, you got to. Mm. So, yeah, so that was, so it was kind of good. But then he showed up, of course, and told the whole story and. Uh, and again, Adam went off on Claire, and it's like, no, it's like, no, it was, it was Victor, it was Victor. I did what Victor said, you know everything. So it was, it was. So now she's in there. Like the scenes for next week are the three ladies confronting her. So that should be good. Dang, That's power of three, beware. Yes, that should be good. So I mean, so that was that literally was the week that was in, in General City. We did, we covered it all, folks. You can, if you came in late, you can go back and watch the beginning of the show. We we talked about it all. <laughs> do you think that we had a bathroom? What? Do you think that room had a bathroom? They never had bathrooms. I was like, how do you go to the bathroom? How do you do those things? Marlene's been locked up so many times in rooms on Days of Our Lives. Like, I was going to say the Demera Mansion, you know, that little yes. locked room. That that thing didn't have a bathroom. And I no. was like, how could they just stay locked up in there? I know. They're not, they're not pissed. <laughs> I don't understand. Hey, <laughs> That'd be my worst hey, thing. Okay, she's fine. not worried I'm, about... As long as I have a bathroom, we're good. She's not worried about being murdered or yeah. anything like that. She yeah. didn't remember the when the ladies had like the cases of booze? So they were just that's why they did on that show. They Lauren did on that. That was, that was <laughs> like, was, anyway. Oh, such a good time. That was a good one. That was what that was with Vivian hate. Yes. That was good. Like, oh my god. Straight to the booze. She was, she was stuck down here. We got that's champagne, we're good. I tell me child, I might as well, might as well drink something down here stuck in a, in a room. <laughs> um so yes. Yeah, you remember? Yeah, Mariah didn't have a birthday. Didn't have a bathroom. And her story's on either. She's had a room. No, I think there was a bathroom in the in the in the. Oh, I think, I think there was a bathroom. Kid. Get an ensuite. Get an ensuite. Yeah, that would be cruel not to give a pregnant woman a bathroom. Yeah, Laura's like, yeah, right? oh, hopefully there was a pot somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> she she he, left her, he left her a bucket. Give her a bucket to piss in. Like oh. a Home Depot bucket. I know. I love it. Uh, so that was your why not bring spotlight, kids. Oh um, we will be back in about 15 minutes, and we'll be talking about, oh, Bo, the beautiful boy. We got some stuff to discuss. It's St. Patrick's Day, you guys. Uh, and I'm having St. Patrick's I'm drinking actually just orange juice, but I'm drinking it out of my <laughs> uh, This thing is huge. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I'm having, <laughs> corn beef, I'm having corn beef and cabbage after this. My sister's making it. Yum. Uh, I can't wait, because I am 5% Irish. I want to give a shout out to my family, the McCulloughs. My mother, her, her late husband, and that side of the family, the McCulloughs. Hi, you guys. Um, so that's that's, the, that's all I, I wish I could give you today. <laughs> today. Uh, we'll be back. We'll give our social stuff on the next show because a lot of you guys will come back with us. Uh, but thanks for watching us today. 61 people. I know. So I see 63 right now. 
<laughs> and we'll be back after my surgeries and everything way back in sometime in April. So I love you guys. I'll miss you. And 